Hey everyone. Today I decided to wear my I am second t-shirt to remind myself that this isn't all about me. And it, it's really difficult for me and I think for a lot of us in this time frame not to really focus on what all of this pandemic and all of the responses to it, how that impacts us particularly. Now hopefully in some of our ways that we're thinking about other people, about those who are most vulnerable and we're, we're giving of ourselves to those who are more in, uh, immunocompromised and to the seniors and others who would find it really difficult if they got sick and now that they're kind of locked up into their homes and into, into some of their places that we're still reaching out and for sure we're doing all of those things and I am as well. And what I really love and appreciate is how here in this particular region in Lacombe, how even though a lot of the agencies have kind of shut down and they're no longer active in the ways that they were, like Meals on Wheels for Lacombe, for example, shut down. Uh, I know that the police have mentioned that there has not been a, a radical increase in calls for their help for doing different kinds of things and how so many people within the community are actually looking after one another. And that's amazing. But there's moments when I come home after a day and I'm stressful trying to figure out how to do these kinds of things, how to make sure that they go online well, to try to fix a sermon that for some reason the video is all glitchy. And by the way, I'm sorry for that on Sunday. I know our last sermon was a little bit glitchy and I think I figured out why. I'm not sure how I can fix it yet, but we'll try to figure that out as we go along. But there's times when I come home and it's just like, I just want to be a little bit grumpy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to put more energy out anymore and I'm grumpy and kind of cranky and things make it really easy for me to become angry. Uh, but then I have really noticed that when I come home grumpy or if I wake up in the morning grumpy, like on a Saturday when I just want to be selfish and be by myself, uh, it makes it very difficult for the rest of the family to be happy. And so I've noticed that sometimes the way that I act sets the tone in the household. And I don't know who it is for you and your family, but maybe that happens with you as well. And then there's moments when I realize, okay, I should have to, I have to manufacture some happiness, some joy here. I got to put some effort in to make this a good, happy place. But there's this part of the back of me that's just like, come on, why can't I just be grumpy right now? Why can't I just be sad right now? Why can't I just go and do things by myself? Now, for sure, we need time to rest and relax and we need some time to recuperate. And those of us who are introverted like me need some time by ourselves in order to really recharge. But I also have to remind myself that it's not about me. God has called me to be a servant in this world. A servant, first of all, to my family, uh, secondly, to my community and to all of those uh, into whom I have been called to serve and to work with. But first of all, I need to remember that I am a servant to Jesus and I, call, I am called to work for him. And the same is true for all of you who are watching this. Even if you believe in Jesus or not, there's this call to be, to be useful, to be purposeful, to be his servant and to set the things that you want and you desire just for yourself to the side so that you can serve others. And I know that is so difficult and it is so hard and we have to be healthy about it, not become doormats and just lay all our whole lives out on the line. But we also have to remember that we can't be selfish. We are called to give of ourselves for others. So I hope today you find a way to give some joy to other people and to find a place to recharge as well.